check, check. I got a good heroin song to start this one off with. Good, because I'm I just smoked and I'm high. <laughs> Time to step it up a little bit. Not off the red dragon or whatever they call it. Yeah, weed is for children. I'm a child. This is like one of those songs that's just been insanely popular for 25 years, but you don't realize how much of a heroin song it is until now. Until you do it. <laughs> hey, Junior, pass me that needle over there. <laughs> Imagine asking your kid that. <laughs> Total fucking man. Give me that stretchy rubber band thing over there, buddy. Tourniquet. Tourniquet. I got to tie off. Let me tie off. All right, thanks, buddy. Why don't you get out of here? <laughs> the high hitting now I'm high now we're all high up to go to bed show welcome to it get your tourney get your needle get yourself a little something to sip on and enjoy the show this is a sedation like no other it's like dripping from your forehead down Euphoria like no other. <laughs> the Go to Bed Show brought to you by Bad Touch Supply. Dot com. Go ahead and get your gloves for driving. Winter's coming up. They're great for shoveling snow in. Waterproof if you don't get them wet. All kinds of benefits. Health benefits. Vegan. No GMO. I'll fuck anything. Vegetarian, it's all the same, baby. BadTouchSupply.com. Everything's handmade here in Carson City. <laughs> We're not even in Carson. And shout out to Dottie's Gambling and Spirits. Gaming and Spirits. There you go. Had to reel that one back in. Tourniquet's a little too tight this morning. How many people have pulled up to Dottie's blasting this song? Oh, dude. Just fucking Tonight? Slam or wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking slam their door and head in. <laughs> fuck. Uh, fuck. Fucking hate my ex-wife. <laughs> After they just lost their ass at Western Village. Oh, yeah. Right to Dottie. I knew I should have went there and never win. Oh, fuck. That guy's in my chair. <laughs> hey, buddy. That's my machine. Oh, yeah. Well, why don't you get out of here and go to Pete's Gambling Hall. The Winnemucca. They support the Go to Bed show. Oh, shit. Can't forget the shittiest raceway in Carson. Carson Speedway, very close to my house. No one was there yesterday. Place sucks. <laughs> and also, Quick Moto. <laughs> Quick Moto. Stickers and graphics, window tint. They're making the archway for Ridezilla this weekend at the fucking Outlaw Flat Track at Fuji Park. So sick. Right next to Costco Fuji. and the Bass Pond. Is there bass in there? Is that the fish? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Right below King Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not far off from the old Arena Cross commercials. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, we should Kids try to. seats are still just five bucks. <laughs> Do it. Kid seats are still just five bucks. Yeah. That's hella funny. They, I wonder how many years in a row they use that same fucking commercial. Oh. Dude. Can't anymore, but. Republicans get to get in for free. Fuck, they wouldn't make any money. Yeah, I know everyone. <laughs> <would be there. laughs> Everyone's in for free. That's a, that's a blessing right there in disguise. Yeah. If you think about it. There's a lot of liberals in town right now. Is, oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Burning Man. Burning Man. Mm -hmm. When does that start? I don't know, but it's soon. I saw him today. It's probably... Is it this weekend? It probably starts Friday, Saturday, yeah. Well, 
I mean, half of them fucking turn into a month long event. So who knows when it starts? Could be three weeks out. You go to Burning Man? No, I am Burning Man. When I'm there, I'm home. We're going home. That's the term. <laughs> going home <laughs> yeah. to the playa. Yeah. In your fucking rented RV. <clears throat> Last year, it's all rained out. It's gonna be tough. It's all right. It'll be fun. It's super fun. I've been. It's super fun. Well worth it. You can make it creepy or do whatever if you want it, or you can make it like where you're just off your on your own, you know? Yeah. But so you, I mean, sometimes you'll see some weird shit, but you know, same with downtown. Yeah, just like, anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I see, I, I really didn't put two and two together in, until I saw like more than normal, but just walking through Midtown, it's the same people every yeah. week anyway. Yeah. You can't really tell. No, exactly. Same fucking, those pants that are all loose and have like the weird geometric designs on it and shit. Mm -hmm. Everyone's wearing those. A couple people, you can't tell what the fuck gender they are today. No. Yeah. Z's eyes are. I feel bad for those people when they're I see them. They're, they're, they're light, like their world is so different than ours. So different. It just seems like, I don't know, it's just like they just seem lost. You know, yeah, they're young. You know, I just I saw one uh, earlier today about three thirty leaving the art store that's by here, and it would have been anyone's guess. You would have had a coin flip if this was a male or female. Then, whenever it's like that, when you can't clearly tell, yeah, that's where I'm like, I ju I just wonder like what the rest of their day looks like, the rest of their life looks like. Confused, bro. I guess. I don't know. Unsure. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> just always unsure. Like always. the world and life has enough uncertainty. Just imagine like just being uncertain of about like, gender. Yeah. That's, That's such crazy. a crazy big thing to be uncertain about. If you are, are unsure about your gender, just turn the show off now. There's, <laughs> they would have already turned it off <laughs> <laughs> after the intro. I'm JP. Uh, I identify as O3 champ. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> I identify as O3 champ. What do you identify as? Pepper. Pepper. You just that's one shirt. of yeah. That's one of my favorite shirts that you have. Really? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> because like, imagine like if we could get everyone in the world in a room that owns that same exact tank top, just imagine what they all look like. Good guys. Yeah. I don't know about pepper that. Pepper fans. Yeah. If you buy a pepper tank top that's Rasta colors and it has, the only thing that's on it is pepper written across the front in like handwriting. It's their logo, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pepper. Rent to the landlord, baby. That's his business. That's his business. That's his business. Rent to the Lunar Baby. That's his business. Is that one of their songs? Sure is. Just about paying rent? It's about someone complaining about the landlord fucking getting on their ass or kicking them out. Yeah. And it's like a chick he dated, and he's like, bro, that's his business. Rent to the Lunar Baby. That's the biz. That should be our. It's called Rent by Pepper. That's the that's the that's the outro. Hey, well, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll have to listen to that. It's a fucking banger. You might not get me to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Just put on repeat the rest. rest Just of the show. loop, play again, play again. Well, you know, housing is a human right, so everyone should have free rent. Seriously, so our fucking female reproductive systems. That's their right. Hey, I forgot to shout out another sponsor, and that's you guys. Patreon dot com forward slash Go to Bed Podcast. Where it's only two, five, or ten bucks. And we have a couple of people at ten bucks. You know, you could call in if your phone works, like last week. Call failed. Or two bucks, you could listen. You could watch live. You get to listen to an extra hour. A lot of illegal shit. You guys know. If this is probably, probably no one listening to this is their first time. And if it is, go over to patreon.com slash go to bed podcast. And just listen to the full two-hour episode there. Some people will listen to an hour on podcasts and then they have to go over. Just get the Patreon app. And your favorite show, Go to Bed Show, is two hours there. Two, five, or ten bucks. Am I wrong, Alex? Let me hear it. 
<laughs> Am I wrong? Let me hear it. <laughs> Just like stum- stumbling your way through trying to articulate the Patreon and how it works and and then switch to like a fucking game show host. <laughs> Am I wrong? Let me hear it. Hear what? Give it up. <laughs> yeah. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> no, I'm not wrong though. Guys, check it out for yourself. Yeah, well, I mean, we do have a specific clientele or demographic that listens to the show. <clears throat> yeah, and like pretty, Southern Atlanta black men. Well, I don't, I don't think that. I don't think many of them would identify as that. But oh shit! I mean, really, just like flaky degenerates. Yeah, is maybe like a general term that you could lump all of them in with. Yeah, just the average American male. Yeah, but like not as consistent. Well, I guess it probably is average. I don't just know. The, just the average non-city. Picture every city in America and just X those out and then the average guy there. Like the guys that like say they're fucking working really hard and shit, but then like never do what they're going to, or never do what they say they're going to do more than like a day. Hmm. What? Yeah. Well, maybe. And I say that because, you know, we had we got a comment from oh, one of our I best patrons, <laughs> announcer Ian, uh, and he said, I get it. You know, was, you're dead right, dude. I couldn't I agree mean, more. <laughs> last week we had, you know, he was supposed to show up here. You know, we were going to do him the favor of getting him on this show and let him promote his announcing business. True. And uh, missed his own episode. So he called in. And then the call failed. So, you know, that's what happens when you're using fucking Boost Mobile or whatever service he has. <laughs> Amped Mobile. <laughs> and then, uh, so then he comments uh, a few days ago on, on his, the episode that he was on or okay. supposed to be on, I guess. He says, call in with a quick hang up, LOL. I'll be back in town next weekend earlier. So I'm actually, and actually is spelled wrong, actually gonna show up. And uh, if you Could. couldn't put two and two together, <laughs> he not fucking here. So, damn son, dude, he he would he is like me, mm-hmm. but yeah, I know. I've been pretty consistent. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. many times in a row? I'm maybe on like six or seven. Oh yeah, I think so. You know, probably yeah. But I it's it he's is he's over two. <laughs> And Ofer Creek is just down the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. That was a good joke, actually. That was. A, it, hopefully, someone laughed. Listen, that was a good. I, one. I didn't get it. I still don't get it. Well, you said Ofer too. Yeah. And and it just uh, like Ofer. Ofer like, Creek. Yeah, like Ofer Creek is like you said. He's Ofer too. I go well, and Ofer Creek is right down the street. You right. Know? Which would have been a good joke if there was actually an Ofer Creek. There is. Where. Just like right down the street. Yeah, it's just like on the on the south face of Mount Rose. That, that creek right there, oh, by slide, is Ofer Creek right into Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it. Never heard of it. <laughs> well, I'm just a little geographical, uh, little nerd over here, I guess. <laughs> little geo nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what they called me in school. The old little geo nerd. <laughs> Always looking at topo maps and shit. <laughs> love that shit dude with the lines real close together dude fucking steep right there you don't oh, want to walk up that would love to hike that dude gonna have to switch back take that one slow <laughs> dude have you seen the topo on sea hill it's fucking gnarly <laughs> and they just redid it too the county redid it it's dude, fucking i knew it was steeper there if you go f- just fucking straight up <laughs> off trail at 34.3 degrees latitude dude it's so fucking steep right there so steep i mapped it out too dude, pretty it's accurate sick. Love a topo map, sick design, super sick cutting board type type of design. Ofer Creek, super sick. Yeah, so announcer Ian isn't here. Do you, he he wants me to pick up in ears and drop them off tomorrow? Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. I'm glad you fucking <laughs> brought that up. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh hey, I won't be there again, but can you give me those six hundred dollar in ears? Just give them to JP, and he'll give them to me. Seriously, unreal. If you get, I might just say I gave it to him. You see him online on my story. 
It's all for sale. Your <laughs> yeah. three fifty. <laughs> Tag him. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna give those to him? Yeah, I got them in my car. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta figure out because I got the whole that case that we brought on tour, the Pelican case. Mm-hmm. I gotta figure out which base is which because there's three of them in there. Base for the wireless. Oh, okay. How do you do that? I just gotta look at them. I'll. Oh. Be able to figure it out, but yeah, I got them with me. That's so nice of you, six hundred bucks. No, well, maybe I don't know. I haven't looked at them in a while. They were six hundred when I got them. Probably wow. a thousand now. Is there an option on our Patreon to where you can like pay more than ten? Nah, you can't tip. Maybe I don't know. Just send a tip to JP Films seven seven five at Gmail to, PayPal. Send it to Bad Touch Supply Venmo. You got a Venmo on there, right? Mm-mm. Well, how do people pay at the track? They just go to my personal Venmo. What, what, what is it? Well, we have a PayPal. You do? Badtouchsupply.com at Gmail? PayPal? Yep. Just send it there. Badtouchsupply.com at Gmail.com. I mean, <laughs> badtouchsupply at Gmail.com. That's yeah. what it is. Yep. <laughs> send it there. Fucking minimum 300 Nothing less. Or just buy fucking... Mystery gloves on badtouchsupply.com. And we'll call it even. And we'll send you the mystery glove. No one has ever seen it. It's like a golden ticket for the Willy Wonka factory. Next order gets a free pair of in ears. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, sorry. I, I gave them away. I could, see, some fucking co- random I could see Booth buying the fucking one pair of gloves, gets the thing, and then flips it to Ian. Yeah, flips it in or the ESPN. he would just use them as headphones. Yeah, they're not really working for me. <laughs> Is it Bluetooth or no cord? Yeah, that's, wireless. That's like I had funny. to get a a Lightning to XLR to make it work. <laughs> yeah, those in ears have been all across the country too. That's right, piece okay. of heritage. Seriously, seriously, man. But that's our clientele, patreon.com slash go bit podcast. Join now. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Are you kidding me? You could just say you want to be on the show and not come as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just we'll, <clears throat> we'll set it up for you and then just don't show up. Now, now here's the question. Do we give them another opportunity to come on or is it is it a year penalty, a year probation? <laughs> uh, yeah, what, I don't What would know. the AMA do? Oh, fuck, dude. If he accelerated off track, he's out. He's, he's out. A, that's a two-year probation. <laughs> he's docked right there. <laughs> yeah, is he, are we throwing him on PB or are we going to let his life? What's PB? Probation. <laughs> uh, Proby? <laughs> I think he's on Proby. Yeah, how yeah. long? F- till I fucking feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Could be life. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. He's on Proby. So if anyone else wants to come on. Patreon, I see. I see uh, Sebastian at Normal Mountain Biker commenting on the Go to Bed show. It's pretty funny. Oh, he did. I gotta fucking monitor that. But he just said like the guy in the white hat's a clown. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I was wearing a white hat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, he was right. <laughs> yeah, Heat Wave Miami edition, Miami Heat Wave. So sick. Mountain Dew Ambassador. Wish you would have said how much you made. Mountain Dew Red. Mountain Dew Red. Red Dye 40. Should make your eyes crossed. Makes the frogs gay. That's got to be one of the most white trash drinks of all time. <laughs> Mountain Dew Red? Yeah. Blast or whatever it is? I don't know what it is. You take one sip, you smile. It's like you just ate a deer raw or something. <laughs> it's just gross. There's a fucking whole can of red vines in your mouth. Yeah, it looks so bad. And you know when people have it at the track and they laugh and talk, you're like, oh, my God, dude. Like, I well, Who drinks to... Mountain Dew Red at the track, dude? What track? <laughs> Hawthorne? I didn't that kid Peanut. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! <laughs> Doesn't Peanut drink? Dude, Mountain what's Dew Red? Peanut doing? What's her last name? Davis or something? Yeah, yeah. That's a local legend right there. Probably a fucking listener, honestly. He was always like five years old to me. Like he never yeah, was he, a. Oh, uh, he's still five. It's right like now. the little kid without a shirt that's like buck teeth and shit. You're like Peanut, get out of here, dude! I will never forget seeing Peanut at Mustang. Just, you know, he's always running around as a fucking local legend. 
this when he was like five. Right. And then I remember seeing him with a fucking Gatorade bottle with the label ripped off of it, like looked like a dog toy at this point. And the bottle was filled with dirt and he had a rope tied to it. And the other side of the rope was tied to his belt and he was just dragging it through the pits. I remember the whole family like raced and worked. Oh yeah. Like the Dude, they would roll roll up deep in that fucking Chevy truck with like six bikes. Never yeah. seen so many bikes in a truck. And like four brothers. Yeah. And like the dad would flag and help the gate. Yep. And run over, pack his kids' gate, and the kids just ran around. Yeah. The whole time. Like I bet them now or be like, I miss the track. Like that was probably gold memories for them. Oh like, yeah. Our dad worked and we just rode around. Like, Fuck, I hope they got free entries and he wasn't getting paid for that. Had to have, bro. Yeah. You could tell. Because that's fucking... Free lunch, too, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, dude, that's a probably not a bad day's worth of work for how much all those entries would have cost. All right. those kids doing fucking two classes or something, you know? Yeah. Fuck. A little peanut. <laughs> yeah, his mom would fucking do the the she... gates and shit. Or, yeah, the, the checking, whatever, lap and, check. And shit. he was, like, in charge of the flaggers or something. Yeah, something like that. I've seen them at every track, bro. Carson Raceway, Stead, Winnemucca. Yeah. Fucking NMP, Fernley, Ro- uh, Roseville, or what? Right? We, need, we need to get fucking Peanut on the show, dude. Dude, how do you, I don't even know his name. It's Peanut. There's no way. I guarantee you people listening to this show know him. Uh, yeah, someone Because he's people. probably like 25 years old or like 20 yeah. years old or something, you know? Yeah. He's not that young. No, he's probably like 24, 25, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Little Peanut. See if he still has that Gatorade bottle. Probably does. Bring that in. He's just super we'll, successful. We'll like, replace the Dottie's bottle with that fucking Gatorade filled with dirt. <laughs> They're all peanut fucking. Actually, he's different now. He's a crypto billionaire. Lives in New York. Super fucking slick back. Suit guy. Fit. Chiseled chin. But nah, dude, there's no way that's peanut. Yeah. Surprised he's not at the boat launch in Lahontan right now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just chilling, not even working. Oh, just dude, he's chilling. probably fucking riding Prosser right now, I bet. <laughs> exactly. I was just thinking, I wonder, you know how they you know how we have those fucking gay trophies from Friendly GP with the sand in them? You think that's gay? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's a fucking podium. Well I well yeah, I know. Well, we did well, but I'm saying the trophy with the sand. <laughs> I wonder if there's a local that has like a bottle of sand from each track around here. I was just thinking about that with Peanut. And maybe Peanut's got a collection of Gatorade bottles with all different, you know, here's Mustang, here's Fernley, here's Muck Hoffman. One, Muck Two. Yeah. Sandbox 95. Yeah. Car- Carson, <laughs> clockwise, Carson counterclockwise. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Alamo, Fallon Arena Alamo, Cross. Yeah. Dude, you'd have like 30. Bishop. Oh, so many, dude. Yeah. Hangtown, Mammoth. Yarrington Arena Cross. Yarrington track <clears throat> that was there for like one practice that they never did a race at and then shut it down. Honey Lake. Yeah, there's a lot that are like, we're here and are now gone. Dude, Honey Lake would be a sick outdoor national. Yeah. I'd be so sick with the pros there. Sometimes back in the day, the pros would go there here and there, you know. But they used to do like testing and stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. It was. Uh, it might still be for sale. I don't know if anyone's fucking gonna buy that place, but it's uh, it's been for sale for a long time. You should buy it. Nah, it's got weird restrictions with it, where you can only do like one event per quarter or something. I was reading about. Uh, um, so that's why it's worthless because it's just like literally the dirt value, pretty much. It's not like. You know, what are you going to use it for? It's a fucking motocross track, and you can't run events there. Hmm. If you were, whatever, like, locally, where would be the best track to build and make a national? Like, look, like where I would say, like, Tahoe or something. To have an AMA national? Like, that'd, a real national? That'd be sick if they're like, we're heading to Tahoe, and it's the sand pit, or, or just someone else, somewhere else. Yeah. It's super sick, you know? Like an existing place or just like anywhere? Or could you imagine a fucking... Oh, no, yeah, anywhere. Oh. Yeah, that's like... like Could you imagine a sick outdoor national like like just across 80 from your parents? Like right there in the valley? Oh, dude, well, the sickest spot would be if they turned Edgewood into a track. 
Oh, yeah. For on the sure. water. Oh, that'd be crazy. That'd be sick. That'd be such a famous track. Yeah. And then one in the valley just with Joe's Peak in the winter, like if they did it the first race with a little snow on it still. Yeah. <clears throat> that'd be so dope. Or if they fucking <clears throat> demoed Harvey's and put it there. It'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that would be crazy, dude. I'm excited for this week, this Saturday's race. Iron Man? Rocks on a 250. Why didn't he race last weekend? I thought he was supposed to do the last two rounds on 250. No, I don't I, It was, no, just one round. Just the one? Yeah, I was oh. Iron Man. Oh, okay. And he did one to get some points and secure his spot there. And then this is for fun. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully. Where is Iron Man? Do you know? Mm mm. I always. It's an underrated track, though. It's a sick track, and it's kind of new to the circuit. And I always thought it did good. It's a sick, it's a sick track, Iron Man. Montgomery County, Crawfordsville, Indiana. Isn't that the one that has the crazy step up and step downs and hills and stuff? I don't know. I can't remember any of the tracks except Hangtown. Really? Yeah. Glen Helen, you could picture. Yeah. You could picture Washougal. Just with the trees. Just but like the trees pretty much the, the, any the, of the other ones, I wouldn't be able to well, tell you. The uphill, the left, the down, the left, the right, the up. <laughs> the, the burns. The, the S turn where Deegan passed Cooper for the win last year. Nah. Don't the recall. Fuck. Drop in, drop out. Banger right. The Gravity Cavity, whatever track that's at. Unadilla. Sick. The I fucking section names are horrible. Some of that's them. That's OG shit, though. I know. They were saying, I was watching something the other day. I forget which track it was, but they used to call it the Screw You or something, but now they changed it to something else because that was that too offensive. I think that might be Unadilla, too. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. I was like, okay. The Screw You. I bought some weed today. Fucking... Some of the best weed I've ever had. And it's called, it's called Thunderfuck. Mother Thunderfuck. Okay. And it's grown in Alaska and it's, and it, it gets a certain terpene that only weed plants that get a lot of sun, a, like more than the 12 12 cycle, you know? And it grows an extra terpene that's super unique and it's a, Happy, euphoric, kind of uplifting, but not paranoid, but but fun, silly, perfect mix. And he nailed it. This guy I talked to killed it today. I'm always the guy that's like, hey, can you pull out this weed and this weed? I saw them and I want to see the terpenes because the more I learn about the terpenes and I try it and I go, okay, I do feel that. Okay, like beta... Or mercine, the terpene mercine makes me just chill, and I just want to chill, watch TV, and I get tired. Yeah. So don't take, don't smoke weed with mercine until seven p.m. Damn, I fucked it up. And then, but limonene, super funny, happy, and then this other one, something selamine or something. I'm learning it, and so. And now I'm getting it down. You went to the dispensary to buy this? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> so funny. Take a dab and then I go to the dispensary and I was like, yeah, I want something. I'm looking for some limamine and like beta alphamine or something. And I'm like, wait, wait, no, I think that's like pre workout shit. Hold on. They all <laughs> sound similar, similar, you know? He's like, yeah, I've never heard of that one. I'm like, yeah, maybe that's a pre workout thing. Beta alanine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, because, give me some of that shit. Dude. It gives me a fucking third lung. <laughs> but it's sick. Now I got it down. And I saved the label. So I'm like, if I can read it, get it down. Then next year, I'll get those type of plants and grow that. Yeah. Then be dialed. That's crazy. You've only been smoking weed for 15 fucking years before you start figuring some of this shit out. Well, now, yeah, now it's like, yeah, I don't know. You've grown from just fucking regular dirtbag stoner to weed connoisseur. Well, now it's it's because sometimes I'll smoke, run out of that weed, and then I have to smoke a different weed, and it really hinders my edit days. Mm. Where I'm like, fuck, 
Like I can go bike ride or something, but just to sit there and edit and use like just my head, I need limonene for that. That's that's what I know for sure. And if I can hit that, then it just makes me z- like just zone in and not care, you know, mm-hmm. just super high. <laughs> and 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 then Mersin, boom! I hit Mersin after dinner. Boom! I'm just like ten minutes of watching like YouTube. I'm like, I'm ready for bed. This shit rocks, dude. Perfect. And then I'm not wasting my money, you know, because I'm getting fucking whatever from my pops. Like, I don't even know the, we could, you know, cost hella to get it tested. Maybe the strain, but you don't know what that grow is. It's all on the light. Mm. The soil affects the terpenes. It might, it might not be an average of 15% light. I mean, like, it fucked up and we're in the high desert, so maybe it's like only five, but more a little bit mercing because it got cold at night at the end and then like then terp you know, it's just it's just all over however the plant grows. Super crazy. Mm. And I'm learning it as I as I'm growing my plant because I'm like YouTubing like when my sometimes when it was every other day a gallon of water every day and then it started flowering and it's been like a gallon and it takes it normal. Then every, the other day, it's a gallon. Then the next day, it was like wilted and super dry. Like everything looked like all the leaves were like this. They weren't really like this. And I was like, oh my God, it looks dead. I was freaking out. And I had to work all day. <clears throat> it was on uh, Sunday. Mm-hmm. No, it was on Saturday. No, it was on Sun. No, Sunday. I think it was on Saturday is what it was. And Sunday fucked me up, too, because it was hella late, hella late day. Then I had to work Monday hella late, too. It was on Monday. That's what it was that I saw it. That's what it And I Googled it, and there, and it was like, because it should have been an off day. I, I did. That's what it was. I watered it Sunday before I filmed. Came home hella late. I like, didn't get to bed till one thirty. Got up at 5. And got home at like seven, so then I watered it. Then and that time it was all wilted. Looked it up, and it just like once it starts to flower, it's 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 like sucking water up different, you know. So now I'm all over the place. I'm like, I have to check it every twice a day. Cause so you got to give it more water now. Yeah, it's oh. like and and then sometimes. I give it water, and it goes through it and out the drain holes in the bottom. I'm like. Okay, yet two days ago it just drank it normal. Now what the fuck, you know? So I just did a little bit, let it soak. Did a little bit, let it soak so that it can drink it up. And it's back to normal now. Mm. And I fed it a gallon of food with a gallon. In the morning, by the end of the day before I left, it was a little droopy. And I'm like, fuck, okay, take the hose, just... I'm like, fuck, I give this thing a lie. This is the most critical moment. As it's flowering, all the little hairs are coming up. It smells like fucking cookies. <laughs> like, mm, it's going to be good. So how much weed do you get off of a single plant like that? I'm not sure. I when looked that up, time. too. It's all depending on the pot size because it limits how big the plant will be. Mm-hmm. And then also, like, like, I have these lights these solar lights that I should turn off, but I also don't want it dark back there for Frank and Ansel, so I was just like, fuck it, I'll take the delay it's going to have because that little light is always on for it, so it you know, doesn't get pure darkness like a regular plant should to flower. So that will fuck it up a little bit. So I'm hoping I can get my... If I can, like a good plant and that's like the top... 75% of plants in that size will be an, a pound of weed. Mm. And then, like, the low end is, like, two and a half ounces. Super crazy. Maybe three ounces. That's a huge range. Yeah. And that's another thing, like, some technique has... Some technique... Like, if you picture the plant... Picture like 60% of the way up, you trim all those little what they call popcorn nugs that are like more annoying to get off the leaves than the actual nug is to hit. 
you know, so they'll cut that off. And what that does is it forces all the nutrients, more nutrients up because it doesn't have to fill those first into the bigger nugs mm -hmm. that are like actual branches. Like a branch will come out and have a gnarly cherry top. And it, if you cut it off and it focus on that, you could get more. But you also couldn't, you know. It just depends. Yeah. So I'm hoping I can get... Is in there 16 ounces in a pound? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get at least half a pound. it would be sick. It's a lot of weed. Is it legal to <clears throat> grow weed now that it that weed is legal? Yeah. Up to a certain amount of plants <clears throat> or something? I think everyone can have... I think everyone can have like four plants. Mm. But you can't be near a school, like a couple hundred feet near a school. Or maybe you can. Yeah, maybe. You have to be near a school, I think it is. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's four plants or six plants. Yeah. Might be six actually, cuz when I have a when I had a card, I could have 12. Mm. You let the card lapse? Yeah. Once I moved out and right when I became legal it was like four months and it lapsed and it's like i don't need to pay for that right i only got the card for my dad to grow 24 because i lived there oh you know went, I went to the doctor and was like i can't sleep I got glaucoma and he's like you can't sleep no okay fucking just like it. a weed doctor yeah yeah and then uh so then my pops could grow 24 and now he can grow 12 Man, that's a lot of work, dude. Yeah. Tons of work. I'm hyped, though. I'm excited. You have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the terpenes. The The strain is, let me look up this terpenes of this strain. It's called Gary Payton. Gary Payton? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. It's 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 something... Cookies, the famous cookies, mixed with something else, twenty three times, and it's an athlete Gary Payton, American basketball player, is number twenty three, and he was a fan of him, so that's why he named it Gary Payton. Cookies, Gary Payton, marijuana strayed by All Bud. Is a rare, evenly balanced hybrid strain, 50% indica and 50% sativa, creating, created through crossing the classic snowman, X snowman strain, and cookies. It's definitely best suited for the experienced patient. The high comes with a almost immediate effect. Slamming your mind with the high level of potency, launching it into a state of pure euphoria. That's one of my favorite words. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> As your mind flies higher and higher, you'll feel an increase in your energy level that is accompanied by focus and sometimes a case of the giggles. <laughs> my gosh, it sounds like it. Yeah, are they reading my freaking, what do they call, biography? <laughs> is this my DNA? And the. 12.3% Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> no. no uh, Gary Payton is often chose to treat those suffering from conditions such as headaches or migraines, chronic stress or anxiety, depression, ADD or ADHD. This bud has a spicy yet sweet and savory diesel flavor. Mm. <laughs> Nothing better than diesel. <laughs> that's like that. That's what they mean by that is like a pungent gas, a gassy pungent like whew, jet fuel. You know what I mean? Mm. Could, Gary Payton buds have small grape shaped minty green nugs with a bright orange hairs and a coating of frosty white cri crystal trichomes, and that's what mine's looking like. Gary Payton, an average eighth goes for thirty five bucks, <laughs> and an ounce goes for two hundred and twenty bucks. So if I can get ten ounces, shit, that's two G's right there. That's a month. That's mortgage. another month right there. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> manage the gap. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. 
the comment, the, the rating, four stars. If you know, you know, this is a no, and no. This is a nice sm- smoke, super chill taste. <laughs> Great for working and socializing. Just a dab will do. Great strain makes you relax, but also gives you a good head high. It's pretty balanced. Give it a try. Stoners. I can't wait for that GP23 coming through. I was waiting for you to link that back into the tracks that we were talking about, but then I was like, oh, I guess it's not going back that way. Oh, we could talk about tracks too. No, I just, because we were talking about names of things, and I think that's what made you think of it, because names of weed. But then I thought that you were going to somehow relate it back to the gravity cavity or something, but then (laughs) I was just like, all right, I guess what? it's just a fucking... Weed education at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that moment right there is what Lane had to deal with all the way to fucking day in the dirt a few years ago. What, seven and a half hours of that. <laughs> Pretty oh, much. dude, but there's this other strain. <laughs> yeah, this would be perfect for you, Lane. <laughs> and not knowing what you're talking about either. It's like, it's a mix of something. And then you look it up and just read it. <laughs> well, hey, that was pretty cool to know that. It's very similar to what I was looking for at the dispensary today. Oh, but the, well, the comments are my favorite. What? Give it a try? Just, you know, like obviously written by stoners, but like you can tell too, just the way that they're written. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and also, you know, you just went on this whole thing about how this weed is going to give you energy and focus and all this stuff. And then one out of the two comments was like, makes you relaxed. And it's like, huh. It's all perception. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm excited, man. My first plant. Yeah, should be good. Mm-hmm. Just growing. Just growing makes me want to get a garden bed. If you're not growing, you're dying. I was hanging out with my Nana, helping her, and just hanging out with her. And she's got hella, gar- like, vegetables and shit. And I'm like, damn, I want to. Grow some shit. She gave me some tomatoes. I cut some fresh tomatoes and grated some Parmesan cheese on it with a little olive oil and vinegar. Oh, oh you thought I, you thought I, people, my neighbors were like, did you ever fucking live with an Italian? That looks good. And I was like, fuck, I actually did. He's a fecal. The, the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, not like, I, like you're in the front yard fucking showing off your tomato with cheese on it dude it's <laughs> check it out check, yeah that's hey, a, kurt check it out <laughs> shout out to kurt man he's the best <laughs> neighbor i've had and i met another new neighbor today if you're if you're looking out my front door just kitty corner on wagner right there that corner house met them today are they new or you just didn't know them yet i just i only waved to them i never met their name and mm-hmm. it's and it's uh dustin and Fuck. Forgot her name. Forgot her name. What are they about? What do you mean? What do they have going on? They're getting ready to set up shit for Halloween. They're like, we're going to go all out this year. It's normally something we do. I'm like, you guys should see what my dad's doing. (laughs) Pussies. And they walked away. Now, I said, they got this sick old Chevy. To, like a single cab with a bed, some just like a fucking sick Chevy, like a fifties, you know. Mm-hmm. And and it's all a little. It's not rusted, but it's a faded. And on the door it says Calneva. And she hopped out of the car. I was like, "How much you selling? That? It's for sale. How much you selling the truck for?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm asking like eight five. I'm like, "That thing's sick, Calneva." I'm walking over, and she's like, "Oh, I mean." I do Cal Neva's marketing and stuff, but I just hand painted it for a for a show for Hot August Nights and stuff. I'm like, oh, sick. Keep my eye on Cal Neva marketing. Fuck yeah. Maybe we could work together. Oh, I was thinking that she's going to be out of a job pretty soon. Why? Like, I'm surprised Cal Neva even has a marketing department. Oh, are you kidding me? She's That's a the one hit. That, I mean, what other marketing do they need besides two ninety nine prime rib on the side of the building? There's that, and then the other side of the building, it's like 
beer and a shot, five bucks. Exactly. Did, did she come up with that? She's the genius behind those campaigns. Yes, she is. She's she my got neighbor. hired fucking twenty three years ago and came up with two ideas and uh, just been on autopilot and my ever since. Business is crushed. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, S- sales are four hundred x. It's unreal what she's done. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Get her on the show. Should. There's a whole marketing class been like, yeah, just fucking give away really shitty food and alcohol for free and people come and gamble. And we take their money there, yeah. <laughs> Dude, she's cool. She's a chatty patty. And I'm like, wow, I didn't I didn't know. She's like, Yeah, we moved from for we've been here for three four years. I'm like, Cool, I'm coming up on two. And she's dealing with the same thing. She's like, We had to do this with our yard. But it was all lawn and shit before and I have hella weeds and lawn coming through. I'm like I got the same shit going on. And she's like, oh, yeah, you're the girl who <laughs> lived there before had a crazy yard. I'm like, the, you thought the front was bad. The fucking back was insane, you know? Yeah. Just fucking flowers and f- flowers everywhere. Rose bushes, all kinds of dumb shit. Trees and shit. And then uh, I just said, oh, cool. Well, I'm not going to buy it, so you should list it for ten grand. I, You know, ten grand. I feel like you could sell that runs you know then i started telling her about how my dad my dad bought this fucking it's probably like 10 feet tall dude of like just the rib cage of a skeleton up and the two arms oh okay you have you ever seen anything like that it's a huge so it's it's like it's coming out of the earth yeah yeah okay and he's got this thing already halfway built where it's coming out of the garage, but it's busting out. So my dad has like a fake hole in the roof where he's going to build all these shingles and wood. Mm. And he's going to make it all like the shingles are but And so he's like, I'm going to have some fucking, like I'll hook up a string and have some hanging with some lights on it, some skeletons up there. And, the, and this big one's coming out of the garage. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, yeah. dude, you're doing a yeah, lot. Too much. Dude, it's like a fucking eight foot by four foot ramp. And it and it and it goes up and each piece is already it's like cut to where it looks like it's just you yeah. know? So it's gonna sit like on the roof of the garage and it looks like it's coming through the roof, like it was in the garage. Yeah. Got it. And he's gonna have one of the hands down. He's like, How sick is this P? I'm gonna have one of the hands down and other little skeletons like like he's helping little skeletons up from mm-hmm. the front yard. <laughs> Climbing up ladders and shit. Should have the fucking front end of the WR coming out, too. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like he's riding a dirt bike. Like bringing bikes up with him. <laughs> That'd be sick. Oh. Two-stroke pipe. I'm like, dude. And he's like, my neighbor thinks he's going to outdo me. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I got to talk to the neighbor for never to, like, challenge you or whatever right. the term would be, you know. No, like, you should get him to go bigger. <laughs> You should fucking hype up the neighbor. Been like, wow, his is big. <laughs> no, just tell tell him what your dad's plans are so he does get outdone, and then next year he'll be fucking crazy. He'll fucking actually take the roof off the house. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if the whole fucking cul-de-sac's a haunted house. Yeah. You got to go through some plastic things off, <laughs> off uh, Fifth, you know? Yeah. I forgot that street name. Just to fucking get onto the court. Yeah. Yeah. It could dude they they've gone crazy with the big fucking decorations though, so I could see how that's the new thing because it's for a few years it's been the big twelve foot skeleton, so now it's like, oh, let's just fucking four X that, but we can't sell it that big because no one can put a fifty foot skeleton in their fucking front yard. True. So we only gotta sell the top half. You gotta get that ranch bottle, son. I know. When they re-release it. I'm sure someone's out there. Maybe on eBay. Could look again. Check it. Check for someone, it. Someone right down the street's got one of those fucking big-ass skeletons. It's been out for like a month already. Really? You see that on my story the other night? Someone had their Christmas lights up? No. You didn't see that? Uh, when I was how did ri- I miss that? When I was riding the scooter, uh, uh, okay. I, I went up to the house to show that it had the fucking Christmas lights on. That's why I put August 20th. Oh, uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I didn't. I saw that, but I didn't notice, uh, like, Christmas lights. I, yeah. I just pictured, I was actually looking at your speedometer. Were you going, like, 35? Yeah, I, well, I went I went there, and then I went up to the house because it had the fucking lights up. Where'd you ride? It was just over by my house. Just around the parks? Yeah. 
Take it on that freaking hiking trail up there. Hit a little dirt. Nah. Huh? I'll take the Tau Tau up there, but not, uh, not the, the Honda. Honda. Yeah. Honda, I need a... It, it is a little boggy. You replied I to heard that. it, yeah. yeah. On the mid. It rips off the bottom, and then it falls off, and then it, like, clears out again, and then it can keep going on the top. But is that I did, the jetting? I don't know. I need to get it looked at. Hmm. That's tough. I've been mountain biking. Dude, the scooter's so fun. I bet. I ran it last two nights. I want to get mine going. You should. It's hella fun. It's fun even by yourself. You just yeah. rip around, but yeah, it's uh You wear a good. helmet? Nah. Why? It's too sick. Just wear your BMX helmet, bro. Nah. Why? That's so Dude, gay. if I if I go out, it'd be sick on a scooter, knock on wood, but <laughs> On a scooter, yeah, no title. Falls yeah, dude, back it's, in Conway's it's, hands, dude. It's a full fucking DUI ride right now. Just, I I might run no shirt like tomorrow night if I take it out because it's gonna be cold. I got fucking no helmet, no eye protection, no title, not registered, not insured, full DUI kit. So sick. That's a ticket waiting. To happen. <laughs> yeah, but the cops like have other shit to do you know yeah they don't care about that like in gardnerville like i've i think when i first moved up here i got a couple of tickets i remember i got a tent ticket in my van one time but i got so many fucking tickets in gardnerville for and what uh, well for doing stupid shit but it just like the cops didn't have anything to do back then True. you know so they just wait and then catch you for speeding or whatever <laughs> up here it's like I'm surprised with my car how fucking dark it is because it's even got the five on the windshield, so it's hella dark. Yeah. I've never gotten pulled over nothing for a tent. Damn. And it's just like, and I pass cops all the time. You know, I drive down Virginia Street to get here. So every day I see cops and never have gotten even pulled over for it or nothing. It's because you back the blue. Should. That's actually not a bad idea to put a, one of those stickers on your car just for that reason. Oh. Blue stripe? Yeah. Or if you had the one that's got the green, the red, and the blue on it, it's just like we back all everything, you know? Firefighters, Border Patrol, and cops. You're never getting pulled over with that shit. Or the American flag. That's the only color the flag should be is how it is. Not some fucking blue line, some fucking purple shit, yellow, orange, blue, green, fucking gay shit. It should only be red, white, and blue. It's hilarious when you see people with like all the. I've seen cars with stickers that say like A cab on them and like, you know, stupid shit like that. I'm like, dude, you are one, you probably have fucking like drugs and shit in your car right now. And you're just asking to get pulled over when you have a sticker that says all cops are bad. Yeah, I remember when I first put a sticker on my car, my nana said that you don't sticker your car. Oh, you, Cops go after sticker cars. I could see that too, I'm just like, in general. Are you kidding me? It said Traily Designs. <laughs> 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 cops are going to love it. Like the <laughs> next day you get pulled over by a motorcycle cop. <laughs> Dude, imagine if that helmet was pointed by Troy. Yeah, yeah, you were going 80 <laughs> and a 45. <laughs> Dude, looks sick with the fucking eyeball and the flames on it. He, could, he could do you right. He'd be like, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, here's your ticket. I've been loving the fucking audit videos to a pre and shit. He's so funny. Yeah. Damn. What time is it? 7.09. All right, cool. You ready to hit the paywall? What was the song we were going to play? Pepper Rent. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to listen to someone complain about having to pay rent. It's a good song. Speaking of people with ACAB stickers. Who? People Ian? that complain about paying rent. rent. Yeah. <laughs> Landlords are leeches you, crowd. You like paying mortgage or rent more? There's pros and cons of both. I know, but if you had to pick, what's what outweighs what? For me personally? Yeah. I mean, for my current situation, the mortgage is fine. But I could see renting too. Just depends. In the future? Maybe. For me, 
in my current situation. I, I like the mortgage too. It is good that uh, it doesn't like, you don't have to worry about it like increasing, you know? Ever, That's right? Cool. It'll go up a little bit because your tax and insurance will go up, but like most of it, it won't change that much. And it goes down. So as it goes up, it might even out, right? No. I'm paying a lot of principal right now, but it will go down. You're in paying like, a lot of interest right now. Oh, oh, that's what it is. And I want to be paying principal, but I will in like 10, 15 years. Yeah, they swap, but the payment stays the same. The principal and interest p- yeah. stays the same for 30 years, but your taxes and insurance that are lumped into it, those change a little bit year to year. Oh, so you'll okay. notice like, like mine's gone up a little bit, maybe like 20 bucks or something because the tax went up a little bit. Jeez, Harris. But no. the, better than like a, a big rent increase or something, you know? True. All right. Hey. Makes you want to get a little of that Gary Payton in a yeah, bowl. A couple of, couple of hybrids and some terpenes. Right just, the lemma, baby. That's his business. That's his business. Just let's That's listen to this first thing. Let's just vibe. Everyone likes That's reggae. That's his business. Papa used to tell me it was the electric, the electric, the electric. The bill? Mama used to tell me it was so expensive. It's so expensive, expensive just to live. live. True. Where's the money? And the money's always gone. Ah. Oh. Just like you broke bitches, you can't afford the Patreon. We make money on Patreon. From you, you guys, you broke bitches, can't afford our Patreon. It's an extra, extra hour of illegal type shit with us, yeah. Empty pocket, empty pocket. That's reaching in there to empty pocket. Ah, oh, sorry, I can't afford the Patreon. I gotta pay rent. Fucking pussy. <laughs> Put it on a credit card. How many more times must I sing this? Good song, huh? Doesn't make you wanna like it. You don't like it? Why? This live, the guy playing that high ding and ding and ding. Just thing, thing, thing. We make money. On Patreon from you. <laughs> All you rich little bitches. Fat bitches don't pay. <laughs> El cent. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being broke. We'll see you on the other side of the paywall. And everyone on the other side of the paywall, we'll, we'll jump to you in just a second with all that cash.